It's day two and we are going sable hunting. I love Africa, I love it. What a beast. Look at that mass. Oh my gosh. Oh, huh? Yeah. Hey. Tell me how you feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just shot the most beautiful antelope in the world. The no. sa sable's, I mean, the sable's just been a pipe dream animal for years. Actually, finally get one. <laughs> God. We're here in the Limpopo province um, hunting sable, one of my dream animals, the animal I've wanted to hunt with a long time. Um, with Leonard Gonzalez, a longtime friend of mine, great guy, great hunter with LG Wildlife Service. Well, I can tell you what. Well, Y'all be said the grass is probably gonna be high, the grass is high. We seen this bull, we tried, we got on him, we got on him, Cameron. And Hines like, man, he just we couldn't get couldn't see him, grass was so high. Finally, we worked them and worked them. Just all the stars lined up. That's for sure. Yeah. There I was could... one little opening only in that brush. I mean, the only possible little draw that we could have got on, we come around them, got the wind right. The wind was swirling on us. Got on them, and that was I you could, waited them out. I could see he would lift his horns, and I could see him shining, and then he'd put his head back down and go feed. And, and every time that happened, I just see Cameron's chest go. <laughs> How does a jet black animal get lost in this stuff? Well, Trust me, it's it's the real deal. Uh, it's really possible, but they're uh, it's a uh, it's an honor to be here in South Africa and to take one of my dream animals, um, a royal antelope, um, a beautiful sable. Um, he's gonna look good on in the wall in the trophy room. I can assure you of that. So, but we still got a lot of hunting left to do. So let's get after. Good job, though. <laughs> got him, boys. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's get on. Let's get this little boy loaded up. <laughs> <laughs> 